Hello and welcome back. I am Arumba. Thank you for joining me. We're playing Granadan Grandeur in Europe Universe House 4. We are kicking butt here. We got three day siege ticks, 72% reduced fort defense. I'm going to go ahead and pile on more men and see if we can get that next tier of garrison outnumbered. 35%. If we can do that, we'll practically be at negative 100%. At least down to two day ticks, if not one. And we get negative 87% down to one day ticks. Sweet. Done. All right, uh, we've got some very, very depleted levy. Stability's not negative yet. Plague's not over, though. Could still continue to kill more population. We were at 128. We are now down by 14 pop, which is 140,000 people. Let me let me get this in my head. One pop is 10,000. 10 pop is 100,000. So 100 pop is a million. We just lost, like, yeah, 140,000 140, people. Our small country of a million just lost a ridiculous amount of our country. And he's at negative stab. Hmm. What are the effects of negative stab? I don't remember. In this mod, that is. Wow. Each level is negative of, of negative stability is four unrest. That's double vanilla. Oh, there's a ship battle going. Oh, might be able to sink one. Nope. Just gonna make it difficult for me. Capital Fort's level 5. That requires 10 troops to siege. Don't think we can do that. 16 war score. We're making gains. If we pile the whole army onto this province here, assuming supply is good, it is. We're gonna take the other guy though. See if we can just overwhelm this province. I mean, 10 days each sticks aren't bad either. First first sticks is status quo. Heavily outnumbered. Significantly outnumbered. Nice wall breach. Five day ticks. Go, go, go. Bam, bam, bam. Do we have cannons yet? When do we get cannons? Military tech 11. Oh, sweet. That's coming up in just two techs. Excellent. Well, with five day ticks, I think we could probably take this fort before the next month. He's just going to head back and be a dummy. A gifted Catholic. There's always room for talented men. We can make... We're making use of this minority. We we're unable to convert it for a few years. We can gain a uh, fort defense guy who's half price. Absolutely! A Catholic siege leader? We already have one who's level 2. But... Yeah, I, I don't want a policy of intolerance either. So, yeah. We have a backup. He's apparently level 1 half price advisor. Well... We'll take him, if we have to. I mean, we could use the money right now. Like, do I really need the military points? I'm not doing military idea group. Yeah, you know what? I think I'm going to downgrade to the uh, the cheaper, the younger guy. He's only 0.4 ducats a month versus this guy's 1.6. Saves me some money. Welcome to the Catholic fold, sir. How come the Jewish guy gave other penalties, but the Catholic one doesn't? We'll take that one back. Want to end this war? I'm in the war. Come on. Oh, we've been going a long time and it still hasn't fallen. Attrition. Did we suffer? No, we didn't. All right. Um, still not on low enthusiasm. That army's looking rather sizable. One population. Wow. Got no fort here. Province hasn't been looted yet. Supplies 10. Defensive terrain. Let's march around and try to hide from him for a second. My entire goal here, you know what, actually, I bet we could knock him out right now if I just march my army onto his capital. An army, any army. 
just so we get occupied and besieged provinces on the capital. Probably take his enthusiasm down to, to low. And I'm not looking to take much, so... Ah, close. Close, but not quite. Does not have very many forts. He's actually spreading out as well. It is so hard for me to adapt to the fact that there is no manpower to be had, like, anywhere in this game. How's that loot pool looking, by the way? Eh, a little bit of cash in there, 77 ducats. That'll make these states semi-happy, I hope. Dude, you are so close. Just peace out. And actually, Togurt would be really easy to knock out of this war. Can we just march? Just march to him. You grab a leader. And go to, go to the Togurt's capital. You finish your siege, then you're going to go to Auras. Maybe if we knock Togurt out of the war... Wait a second, I don't see Togurt's army. He's got 3k infantry somewhere. How come I don't see his army? Neither of these, I think, I can afford to have fall. I might try to do the peace deal for that. I'm still making gains, man. Why don't we try blockading this 21 development province? Those annual ticks, they are starting to take a little while. going on over there that I don't care about too much. I'm gonna keep on moving over. I mean, this guy, this is this is a huge percentage. What? What? His capital? His capital is level 1 fort, but it's only got 2 population right now due to a mild plague. And it, it's just, there's just no population there. This one is 8 populations. This is 80% of his country, and there's no fort level. So I guess we just knock that out. That should give us huge war score against him. So we take... What, 20 days? Hope that that fort doesn't fall. Of course it does. It's only three development, it's not a big loss. Maybe though, after we take this, we will be able to piece him out separately. Which will affect everything. Relative strength of the alliance will get affected. Perhaps we can borrow one of your generals? Uh, need of men. Of course we're in need of men. Leon, my subject, give me men. Individual war score against Togurt with that one province occupied is 23%. Sweet. Uh, he would give me 42 ducats. Sounds great. Get out of here. Don't be in the war, please. We're heading over to that one other province that we can reach. Three relative strength. Or three, three enthusiasm now. He takes back this other province. The stink. I just really don't want to have to go fight him again. Boundary dispute. Granada gains a claim on El Condado. Oh, that was a mission. Oh, interesting. I... I thought this was going to cancel my mission automatically for being at war, but it doesn't. So that that's just a... trap. That's never going to happen. Helping hand. 304 manpower. Thank you, sir. Now this is 
Something worth sieging, I think. If we can. Would you please just stop having any enthusiasm? Hmm? We've got positive war score. You you do have, yes, a chance to take this fort back, but you're not going to get the war gold back. You're not even on it. Don't take that back. Damn it. Only two development, and he did have a severe disease outbreak. He's probably got no manpower either. Let's find out. Uh, Fez, no, he has 13,000 manpower. But he had like 20, if I remember correctly. All right, sir, come on. Come on, one more tick, maybe. Maybe this monthly tick. There we go. I'm not going to risk trying to do that siege. So, things I want. I want things that cost no dip. I want you to return my core to me. Uh, to me. To me. I am Granada. Apparently, you can't do that to yourself. Okay, fine. I want you to just give it to me then, because it's mine. We'll pay the two dip. It's fine. And he's not willing to do it yet. Man's exceed war score, length of war, or peace offer. Alt of strength of the alliance. Alright. So we are going to siege down one more province. Or carry out the war, drag it on until he... Oh my god, we suffered a horrible disease outbreak. There's like no dudes there. Court intrigue. Uh, plot uncovered, death of heir. It seems that Yusuf has gotten involved in the politics of court. One of his brothers has, with the support of certain factions at court. Been moving to eliminate Yusuf, which would be fine with me, because he's not very good. Um, his life was uncovered and reported recently. No one should dare move against my will. Or we could say, no, let things run their course. Yeah, go ahead and do it. Yesterday, our Yusuf survived a close attempt against his life. While the assassin was caught, he was also killed by him. And there seems to be no sign of who would have ordered such an attempt by now. Thanks for the cash, sir. <laughs> to fully reinforce your armies, you need 4,000 manpower. Just saying we're a little bit low on dudes, huh? Damn. I think I have 11 reasons now, and I can't see his army either. If he doubles back, I think he's going to go on the war goal. Well, hopefully if I take this high population province... And he doesn't succeed in getting his war goal back, then I'll have enough going for me. It's 21 development there. And we're not actually losing much war score here because the ticking war score keeps building up. And it's much better than in vanilla. 0.5 every month. I just love the fact that it does that. Instead of having every other month, it goes up by one. At the very least, we should get occupied and besieged on this. Try to get occupied and besieged on this. Little tiny province in there that we don't occupy either. With a level 2 fort, in fact, so that should be worth a little bit more occupied and besieged. His enthusiasm has come up, temporarily. And he's actually willing to give up now. I'm still going to wait for them to get in position on those provinces. I don't think he can take it. He's got... Eleven day siege ticks. We've got some time to move. That's actually good enough. So four reasons. Like the money's not worthwhile. I can't demand anything else. So we get Tanja, Wahran, Sabda, and forty-two darts. Sounds good. All right, fine. Okay. Spoils of war. All right, my 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 peasants, my foot soldiers, come on home. March back over to there. March back over to here. Let's grab our boats and have them go dock up in Cadiz. We'll take the stab, of course. National decision is available. We can wear a royal crown because we have 15 cities. We will become newly promoted for a while. Stability increase interval goes down. We get the title of principality removed, and instead we become a kingdom. So we get to upgrade from a 
get to upgrade. Sounds great. Let's do it. State soldiers return. We treated them well, naturally. But of course, let's check on the court. Still decaying. In fact, we're about to break down into the into the next lower tier, shabby court. So that needs to get fixed. I'm currently spending 12 ducats a year. So the court wealth would need to be at like 240. We just need to dump some cash into here. I'm gonna give him a little bit more. Like, give him 120 ducats. Total. Burgers are not very loyal right now. They must have spent some money. I know I demanded a bunch from them, but I feel like over the last couple of years they should have had... They were over a thousand in treasury. I could take the time to, to look around and see if they actually built a building. There's a visual indicator. Though I don't recognize it. I don't know. I don't know. They may have. They may not have. I'm not sure. Anyway, we got our province back. It uh, has martial law CE pending. We could do the thing where we send runners. I'm not a fan of it, though, because it costs money and, and you don't actually get any of that back. So I'd rather just wait. It's an interesting decision to me that you, you have to spend money in admin. Instead of just waiting. We're at 9 out of 8 land force limit. Hmm. I think that granting autonomy in the burgers has lowered my force limit. Just get rid of one of the infantry. So, our new province of Wahran has local fortifications too, a town hall, a trade wharf, farm estate, market palace, sorry, marketplace, and a workshop. Pretty good. Got two urban populations, so we're taking advantage of that. Increased coring cost, whatever, doesn't matter. Coring is so cheap in this, this expansion, this mod. We have exactly one population in here. It's an urban pop. Really. We have, we have no, uh... 7,000 rural pop. And that is 98.1% saturated. <laughs> so you're saying not very many people want to live here, basically. What is that based on again? Like, why? Why is the rural number so small? Seems to recall something being in here about farming. Extra regional food, farming efficiency. No, that's not what I'm looking for. It's like a there's like a base level carrying capacity. Maybe it's rural population data. Innate fertility, that's what I'm thinking of. Innate fertility of 9 to 12. Historic innate fertility represents the unmodified capacity of a province to support rural population. Okay, um... Wait, what? 0 to 3. Didn't it say 9 to 3 a second ago? I guess perhaps that's why it's so low on pop then. Okay, well that's uh, it's kind of a pathetic amount of people living there. We got a marketplace, a farm estate, a trade wharf, town hall. I mean, there's all kinds of crap for this dude, but it's just one it's just one little tiny group of dudes. Maybe maybe it's close to the next level. Uh, 13.5. We can't inspect these ones because they're not cores yet. But, we'll see. We're intentionally pathing around this one. 
I need to get up to 40 spy network strength again so that I can fabricate before I release this subject of Al Dejazir. This province over here has five pop. And we like that workshop. Marketplace, farm estate, trade, wharf, town hall, local fortifications. Lots of good buildings here. Infrastructure is decent. And we should have pretty damn good communication efficiency because of the, the ports and the fact that it's only one seat tile. We're making money. We lower maintenance. There's no troops to actually reinforce anyway. And of course, because the game is totally different, we have negative unrest, despite the fact that there is... 25 unrest from separatism. Neato. Are we close to getting stabbed? Halfway. Okay. I do not want to lose any stab right now. That would be god awful because Fez broke their lines with Togurt. <laughs> They're not very happy about that separate piece. I pieced them out really quick. I mean, I don't, I don't see myself ever getting my manpower above fifty percent. It's just not going to happen. Ever. Look at that, they actually have two troops each. Two infantry, two infantry. We're on tech seven though, and eight. So falling behind by quite a bit. Oh my god, Castile's on tech six military. Seven for Portugal. Our truce is almost up with Castile. He's not bankrupt right now, but uh... Gotta admit, kinda looking at attacking these guys right now. It would be pretty splendid. For now, let's uh, stop off relations with Aragon. Stop off relations with our subjects. And hopefully get this claim so we can release this other subject. And amazingly, despite these things, we're actually only at 3.3% overextension, so... Hanja is 0% overextension. Wait, what? Did this thing actually just grow to one upper class? I won't, no, it didn't grow, but why would there be upper class with no peasants? Plague killed them all? Each pop of upper class provides trade power, but no... Trade power? Basically, they provide, like, freaking nothing. Primary recipients of education. Oh, you know what? I get it. Upper class, it's prob- I, I had assumed that education efficiency was related to your spending relative to total pop, but it's probably much, much more weighted based on upper class pop. You need to educate the upper class, otherwise they are as dumb as peasants, which would lower your overall education efficiency. That would make a lot of sense, I think. I could spend a slew of military points. Uh, monarch points, rather. Military, dip, and admin. To increase the stability, inter increase interval. Do that for a while to, to try to stabilize the country and then revoke some of these bigger things, like the bigger one from the burgers. Might not be a bad idea to just sink monarch points into it now. Because if you think about it, if I don't do that, then my corruption costs me monarch points. So, spend monarch points or spend monarch points, but one way gets you all the other benefits. I think just based on that logic alone, I'm going to say we should do that. So I might need that extra relationship slot. I do. I can't get rid of the relationship slot. Let's not do this one. Oh no, it's just a diplomat. Hmm. I don't want the diplomat though. Take this one. We'll take minor... Wait, minor state reforms too. One of the following must be true. So by having any of them enabled, I have to take now level two instead of level one. I feel like this is supposed to be like an upgradable type system. 
But why do I have to take minor state reforms 2 if I don't have minor state reforms 1? Oh, wait, I get it, I get it. The first one I took was negative 25. The second one's probably going to be reduced in efficiency. So the more you pile on, the weaker they get. That makes sense. So what if I were to take minor state reforms 3 right now? I can't have minor state reforms 2 and 3 active at the same time, can I? I doubt it. A policy must be enacted for at least 10 until it can be repealed. At least 10. <laughs> All right, I'm going to take a break here. I'll be back in the next episode, though. As always, thank you for watching. I'll see you soon. See you in a bit.